I reached over, I grabbed the blank by the stem, and I gave it a heave. And from somewhere in that pipeline, and to this day I don't know where, I got a surge of material. It came gushing out and hit me smack in the eyes, and it ran down all over the front of me. I was temporarily blinded, and I wanted to take off running for a safety shower that was located uh, maybe, maybe about a half a block away. And, and it took me a minute to get my eyes clear so I could see to run. And I finally got them clear. I took off running across the platform and down the stairs. And as I ran past the truck, I could see it coming. I could actually feel it coming. I saw the vapors drifting over to the truck. I saw them hit the truck. I saw the truck blow, the whole area blow, and I blew with it. And I can remember thinking and debating, am I going to make it to that safety shower? Should I keep on running? Or should I just stop and, and die where I am? Safety is not about statistics, not about money, it's not about comp costs, not about any of that. Safety is about going home at the end of the day, kissing your spouse, hugging your kids. It's personal. That's, that's it. That's it. And if you don't make it personal, the guy in the field, guy or gal in the field, could care less about your comp cost. They don't care about your AII, your accident injury index. So you don't care about pyramids. They do care about their families. And if you don't gear it that way, you're going to be spinning your wheels. I, I get so concerned when I come to a facility, people are going to sit there and say, well, thank God that'll never happen to me. What caused this accident was my attitude towards safety. My attitude towards safety. And if you have the same attitude towards safety I had, these things will happen to you. Same thing will happen to you. The circumstances may be different, but the feelings are exactly the same. And believe me, the feelings of your loved ones are exactly the same. I never ever realized the impact the accident would have on my, on my family, especially, well, my whole family, but especially my children. I never would have taken half of the, any of the shortcuts that I took if I knew what it was going to do to my children. I just don't mean going home, you know. I, I mean the quality of life that they had, you know. I just, I destroyed it. I destroyed it with my accident, you know, so. That's what you got to get across. You know, there's so many things that could have been done that day to prevent this accident. So many things. If I had my safety glasses on, I probably would have been able to see well enough to get out of there in time. If I shut the truck off, Probably wouldn't have happened. If I followed the procedures, it definitely wouldn't have happened. If they're not following a procedure, and believe me, ask your first lines, they know what's going on. Ask them why they're not following procedures. I didn't follow the procedures because the procedure was tough to do. If they had asked me, I would have told them, fix that valve. All you gotta do is grease, get somebody out here to grease it up, get a mechanic out here to figure out what's the matter with it. it the accident wouldn't have happened, but we never, that didn't happen, you know. Just ask. They're people, not machines. Safety equipment is uncomfortable and seat belts are uncomfortable. Well, you know what's uncomfortable? Learning how to get around for the rest of your life on those wheelchairs you drive with your chin. That's uncomfortable. Or learning how to get around for the rest of your life on those canes with red and white tips on them. That's uncomfortable. I want you to see this up close and personal. <laughs> This is what's uncomfortable today. These scars are what's uncomfortable today. Do you know how many times I've stood in front of a mirror and looked at that and said, why? Why the hell did I do it? Just so I could be comfortable and work for a couple of hours? Or so I could look cool and macho? Now for the rest of my life, the rest of my life I have to look at that. For what? It's our responsibility. Our responsibility. He's got to start accepting responsibility for our own safety and stop looking for other people to keep us safe. And you've got to start caring about one another out there and taking care of one another. Please, please, everyone deserves a future.